Hi, I think you know that I love to take pictures of things in the sky. On my YouTubes, uh, most of the pictures and stuff for anything that I record has come from either my paintings or my photography work. Um, back in 2018, I noticed a few things that were kind of strange in the sky. One day I woke up, later on that day I went outside, and what you're looking at right now disturbed me, seeing that it completely encircled my home. I really didn't know what to think about it other than this went around in front of the house there, um, trying to follow it. It was really hard to follow it. I mean, there was not a camera large enough nor panorama or whatever to do this. I just had to continually take pictures walking around. Um, it was real strange because clouds don't do this unless there's somebody that's actually flying and doing this. I wasn't really familiar with the chemtrails or chemical trails. Um, other than when I was growing up and we would go to my grandmother's house and the airplanes would crop dust and you would end up with big wide trails over the cotton crops. Well, we live out in the country out here, so we can see things pretty good. Um, past few years, oh, probably mid, um, 2000, uh, and up, I started seeing, you know, catching angelic looking things out there, or the uh, clouds dancing around the sky, so I started taking a lot of pictures, I've also done a lot of sunset pictures, um, but I don't have some of the trails that were so wide that they look like that you could actually touch them. Uh, this was early on before any of the things that are going on that is upsetting everybody and the situation to where we've been sick, people been sick, and have had to do things to help them not be through um, protection against. So this is one that is quite interesting. Um, you know this is just not regular cloud cover so we started noticing at night late she would hear uh airplanes flying over the area uh too close down towards the houses and stuff out here um then we started uh the next morning you would have a awful smell like that was out there and you could see the sky it was like Okay, let me look on my phone. Let's see whether or not there is um, storms in the area or something. We got this haze and stuff. What is going on? And there wouldn't be anything on there picking up like we had thunderstorms or anything like that coming along in the area. Um, the direction in which you're seeing this happens to be towards the west, a little south to the west. Well, we have a... Um, base, army base, or whatever, um, over there towards that direction, a military base, but one day we were going to town, and all of a sudden, I saw an X in the sky, and at one particular time, there was one in the, this one, I believe the first one was in the eastern sky, and I took pictures. And I thought, what is going on? Why is X marked the spot? I don't know. So then I believe the situation with the virus or whatever started becoming uh, public. And the skies were beginning to be streaked all the time. And sometimes you could see the uh, airplanes because they would fly so low. 
and uh, of course that kind of bothers you you got an airplane flying that low I mean like whoa why have you got a problem I mean we always are conscious of are they fixing to crash and stuff like that but um, one morning there was a, an event for going by and meeting several places in town to get masks and things and that particular day there was streaks all over the sky flying people I mean some airplanes or aircrafts or something flying across the area um, and I thought why, why would they be doing this you know uh, is there some kind of chemical being released into the sky that may be the reason uh, some of the illnesses and things are going on um, that was my conspiracy theory my husband said you are I've always been a conspiracy theorist kind of to the sort and I said yeah I mean I do take sunsets and uh, pictures of the clouds all the time and I have never seen anything like this uh, well right after the first one that was somewhere in the late 2019 right after that X marks the spot hit this area had four flus and one unexplained respiratory virus um, that at that time our hospitals were packed this was before any information was given to the public about anything but people were sick I mean they were sick to, to the point that the churches were almost closed down then and some of the schools were uh, so there were flus whatever and then this one respiratory issue that was really bad so I started then and I decided well I'm fixing to really get after it and check these clouds and start looking and everything so several times when they flew low now you're seeing these these strikes across the sky they're making that X just multiply that by four on that line four or five times I mean you could look up and see a streak across there and it was as if you could reach up and touch it so uh, we didn't have no problem quarantine quarantine whatever because whatever was going on I was actually cautious with what was coming from those clouds um I don't know that there was but there was a lot of people sick then in 2020 everybody is being told now that uh there's something out here really bad and um, so we all kind of go I mean including myself I was really disturbed about the number of people and widespread everywhere of this disease how could that be humanly possible to be all over the world at the same time and it be passed around like that um, well if you stop to think about it just maybe it could come out of the sky some of it um, some kind of chemicals or something to make you sick uh, from there uh, there's or other people online on YouTube and other media sites that have their flip with the situation and what they think and I'm not going into that I'm just showing you what I have seen am I disturbed yes because this was the other one that we got and that was into the uh, sickness in about middle 2020 and another X hit well after that there was just I think we got shut down the state did and um, mask if you went anywhere uh, the only thing I can tell you with what's going on even now just be cautious just read up if you've got some history books read up on what everybody did a hundred or two hundred years ago 
and start doing those things cleaning your vegetables boiling your water if you need to being very cautious when you go out in public whether you're wearing a mask or not let it be not very many people in the place go in and get out you know that's what we've done um yeah here's one now, this one is actually coming i believe out from the area that i was talking about um i don't have the one that literally it looks like from this base military base that there's just several several uh things like this shot up in the air uh, of course i know they do you know runs running around here and stuff like that and then land and then go i know all about that you know my dad was military but um i just wanted to share to you today which i didn't want to do it until now um some of the things that we've seen in the sky uh sometimes you get some very pretty uh pictures from it some of them look angelic uh like angels or something dancing around in the sky so i think well if it's if it is something bad going on in the sky then maybe that's those little maybe angelic things are protection or letting the lord telling us that he's got it he's got our back on these things so i just want you to think about this and enjoy the pictures i'll be putting some more uh photographs up here i have them on my website you can go to find out about that by checking some of my uh youtube videos but now it's about time to kind of get serious about things and what's going on out there but i think look to the sky take pictures you got a phone at least everybody does or pretty much and take pictures of the sky because it's going to be pretty even if there's something there or not um us in the country we do get sometimes um things sprayed around here in the area because we have mosquitoes that's big enough to few of them to pick you up and take you across the yard so uh there's a, lo a lot of other reasons and to be worried and that is the pestilences big time so anyhow I appreciate you checking this out and subscribe and share this out and tell other people people about what's going on um so I'll be getting back with you bye I'm leaving you with this photograph that uh, I took and I believe the next day there was an angelic uh, photograph it was a pink sunset and there was a pink angel in the sky uh, to give you something a little funny um i would uh i was in the back seat trying to get as close up to the front and out the front window to take a picture of that pink angel going across the sky um so most of the photographs i take is while we're riding down the road and uh it's kind of amusing with me trying to get at different angles and hanging on to things to try to get photographs for you all um but mainly the sky pictures and things like that i've been uh taking i've got a lot of other things but um that'll come in time just enjoy thank you